Hello students, today we will be discussing paper 2 non-calculator 058022 Feb March 2025. Now in this question paper you will be giving a formula sheet. This is the formula sheet. This will be given in the exam. Can you see this? Okay. Now let us move to the first question. Here the note is given calculator must not be used in this paper. Now question number 1. Oranges cost 220 rupees per kg. Work out the cost of 9 kg of oranges. Now we have been given that 1 kg oranges are of 220 and we have to find the cost of 9 kg. So 1 kg is of oranges is given to be rupees 220 9 kg will be equal to rupees 9 into 220 1980 so 1980 will be the correct answer now let us move to the question number 2 Aryan goes on a journey he leaves home at 1140 and arrives at 1480 how many hours and minutes the journey took now he leaves the home at 1140 now 1140 to 1340 1140 to 1240 1240 to 1340 that, that means two hours now 1340 to 1480 20 and 18, 38 minutes. So, how many hours and minutes the journey took are? 2 hours and 38 minutes. This will be the correct answer. Now, moving to question number 3. A quadrilateral has one line of symmetry. The diagonals of a quadrilateral cross at right angle. Write what mathematical name of the quadrilateral is. Now we have one line of symmetry. So let us draw the quadrilateral. So this is the line of symmetry, vertical line of symmetry. And the diagonal bisect at the diagonal cross at right angle. This is the so this is kite. So kite will be the correct answer. Let us move to next question. Now question number four. V is equal to four m p square. Find V when m is 10 and p is minus 3. So we will put these values in this equation v is equal to 4 into 10 p square that is minus 3 square. This will be 4 into 10 into 9 that is 360 will be the correct answer. R find the positive value of p when v is 3200 and m is equal to we will find the value of p from this equation v upon 4m is equal to p square so that implies p value will be under root v upon 4m now we substitute the value of v 3200 upon 4 into 2 which will be equal to this cancels with 16 and this cancels with 400 we are left with 400 which can be written as under root 4 into under root 100 under root 4 is 2 and under root 100 is 10 so 20 will be the correct answer now let us move to the next question question number 5 write these lengths in the order of size starting with the smallest now we have smallest unit over here is mm so we'll convert all these in mm 
now we know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeter one centimeter is equal to 10 mm one kilometer is equal to thousand meter now this meter is equal to 100 centimeter now if we convert into millimeter it will be 100 into 10 that is 1000 millimeter 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter which will be equal to 1000 into 1 meter is having 1000 millimeter into 1000 millimeter that is 10 raised to power 6 mm now 0 0.03 m will convert into millimeter so multiply by 1000 we get 30 mm 2.9 centimeter into 10 that is 29 mm this is 32 only 0 0.00002 kilometer if we multiply by 10 raised to power 6 we get 220 mm this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, raised, 2 into 10 raised to power minus 5. And if we multiply it by 10 raised to power 6 to get mm, so we'll get 2 into 10 raised to power 1, that is 20 mm. Now we have to write it as smallest. Now out of these smallest, this is smallest, 20. So we'll be writing this entry. 0 0.00002 kilometer. Then after 20, we have this 29, that is 2.9 centimeter. Then 30, that is 0 0.03 meter. And then 32 mm. Now let us move to the next question. Question number 6. Work out the area of trapezium. Now area of trapezium is given by half into sum of parallel sides. into height so this will be half into 15 plus 9 into height is 8 half into 15 plus 9 will be 24 into 8 this cancels with 4 so we get 96 as our answer so number 7 write down the inequality for x represented on the number line now this is shaded and this is not shaded. So this will be included and this will be not be included. So 4 is included. So x is less than equal to 4 and greater than minus 3. This will be our answer. Now Priyanka plays a game in which she can win, lose or draw. The table shows that the probability of her winning or losing the game. Result of game and the probability win is 0.3. Lose is 0.25 and we have to find the this draw one. We have to complete the table. Now we know that the sum of probability is 1. So 0 0.3 plus 0 0.25 plus the probability of draw is equal to 1. So probability of draw will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.25. This will be 1 minus 0 0.55 which is equal to 0 0.45 so we have 0 0.45 over here now B part Prinka plays this game 120 times work out the expected number of games she wins the probability of winning is 0 0.3 she played 120 times so 120 into 0 0.3 this is so 36 will be our answer now moving to next question Question number 9, D is given to be under root 1.95 into 9.92 square in upon 8.07. So by writing each number corrected to one significant figure, work out the estimate value of D. So D will be equal to under root 1.95 to one significant figure will be 2 into this will be 10 power 2 upon 8.07 will be 8 which will be equal to 200 upon 8 with 8 we get 2 and 525 
so under root 25 so 5 Yeah,